You can create websites with the user login feature using JavaScript, HTML and CSS. In this video tutorial, we will make a simple website with a user login feature. I shared the source course of the project on the Turtle Code GitHub account. You can learn how the projects are done in detail by watching the videos on the YouTube channel. Let's start coding the HTML file first. I synchronize the CSS file that I will use in the project with the HTML file using the link keyword. In the body section, I will create a form object. In the form object, I will create two input objects that ask the user username and password. When creating objects, I specify the class type, ID and placeholder properties. Using these arguments, I will control input objects in JavaScript and CSS files. After the user has entered username and password, we click the button to login. I will specify the function name in the onClick property of the button object. Using this function in the JavaScript file, I will assign a task when the button is clicked. I need to sync the JavaScript file with the HTML file using the keyword secret. Finally, I will define a name for the button. The HTML file is complete. Let's start coding the CSS file. I will control the input objects created in the HTML file using the class argument. I set the physical properties of the objects in this CSS file. You can synchronize a different physical feature with a class of your choice. The design will not affect the operation of the project. For example, you can make the color purple instead of blue. In the same way, I determine the physical properties of the button using the class name. Finally, I want the button to change color when the hovering over it. To do this, I will use the keyword hover. The CSS file is complete. Let's start coding the JavaScript file. I will create an object in the JavaScript file. Each member of this object will consist of username and password arguments. The object will have two members. If you wish, you can increase the number of these members We have specified an onClick function name in the HTML file to assign a task when the button is clicked. I am creating the function I specified in the onClick property. I synchronize the username and password objects entered by the user in the function with the variables. I need a for loop to scan through all the members in the originally created object. I am creating an if query to determine if the password and username parameters entered by the user are the same as the members of the object. If they are the same, I will show the user a message in the console stating that the username and password objects are correct. If the username and password are correct, I will use the location and pref arguments to redirect the user to the Google website. If the username and password parameters entered by the user are not correct, when the button is clicked, I will publish a message on the console warning the user. Project coding is complete. Run the project to test it. I entered the correct username and password and the press the button. I was redirected to the Google website because the enter values matched an object member. Let's try the second member. Likewise, I was redirected to the Google website. Now, let's enter the incorrect information and see what the warning log message on the console screen. A message warning the user was printed on the console screen after an incorrect login was made. In this video tutorial, we made a website with a user login feature using JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. I explained all the cause of the project in detail. If you have any questions, let them know in the comments. You can support us by following the YouTube channel and learn how the projects are done in detail.